Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Firefighters hope to contain a wildfire by tomorrow, according to the Bureau of Land Management. It has charred about 150 acres of grassland and desert tortoise habitat west of Las Vegas. The fire is believed to be human-caused, but a suspect has not yet been named. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Lena Bleitz. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Xylazine is present in Clark County's drug supply, the Southern Nevada Health District announced today, adding the drug was present in three overdose deaths in 2023 and one in 2020. Also known as Trank, it is a potent tranquilizer that's been linked to overdose deaths across the country and is only approved for veterinary use. Xylazine was detected through the district's community surveillance program, where drug paraphernalia is anonymously collected and sampled. MGM Resorts International has exceeded its goal of donating 5 million meals to communities where it operates resorts. The company's Feeding Forward program has donated food that would normally go to waste, and it has given about $375,000 in grants to organizations that fight food insecurity in Southern Nevada and elsewhere. Now in Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Among hundreds of Memorial Day driving citations, one really stood out when a driver was clocked at 131 miles per hour before being arrested on suspicion of DUI. The Nevada Highway Patrol and California Highway Patrol teamed up for a joint traffic safety operation for the holiday weekend and announced it resulted in 437 traffic citations and two DUI arrests made between the Nevada State Line and State Rose Parkway. Additionally, Nevada State Police said there were no fatalities on Interstate 15 over the holiday weekend. A Las Vegas park has been renamed in honor of a police officer who was shot and killed while responding to a domestic violence call in 2006. A new sign was unveiled this morning at Henry Prindis Park in Hidden Palms. Sergeant Henry Prindis was 37 years old and left behind two daughters aged 15 and 13 at the time. Now as adults, they wanted a place to keep his memory alive. This weekend, hundreds of Nevadans gathered to honor both lives lost and time served in the U.S. military. Many of them reflected back to when they were serving in the military, and some people attended a Memorial Day ceremony at the Southern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery. Family members like Marina Hance visited the grave of her loved one who died fighting in Iraq. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. It's been a hot one today, coming down from 101 degrees today to cooler overnight temps in the mid-70s. But highs are predicted in the triple digits all week with sunny skies and lows in the mid-70s, so we are cooling off a little at night. But taking a quick peek at next week, things are heating up even more with a couple of days next week potentially reaching up to 107 degrees. In business, less than three months after opening, Atomic Golf announced it has laid off a portion of its hundreds of staff members. The high-tech golfing range at the Strat opened in late March, and about 800 full and part-time employees were working at the location. In a statement, the business says, quote, We appreciate the dedication and contributions of all our employees and extend our gratitude to those who have been impacted. It's not clear how many employees were laid off or the exact reasons. Public officials and the College of Southern Nevada hosted a groundbreaking event for the new historic Westside Education and Training Center. The $16.4 million training center will be adjacent to the historic Westside School campus. It will provide various credential job training programs and is scheduled to be completed in late 2025. Sports brought to you by PT's Taverns. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. Here's a few things to watch with the World Series of Poker, which takes place at the Horseshoe Las Vegas and Paris Las Vegas starting today. The World Series of Poker and online poker sites are running promotions and satellites for entries to the main event, which begins July 3rd. For lower cost tournaments, June 25th to July 3rd, buy-ins range from $400 for the Colossus No Limit Hold'em to $800 for the Independence Day celebration no Limit Hold'em. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. It's easier than last year. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's been great. It's been great. getsy has been great. My my tight ends coach, Steckle, has been great. Um, AP's been great with the offense. And um, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Those words from Mayer explains how he's digesting the playbook presented to him by new offensive coordinator Luke Getze as compared to last season. Getze joins the Raiders after spending two years as the Bears' offensive coordinator and has the challenge of improving an offense that finished 27th in yards per game and 23rd in points per game. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Summer Olympics in Paris are less than two months away. The United States is the minus 550 favorite at the Westgate Superbook to win the most gold medals. China is the plus 450 second choice, and every other country is 50 to 1 or higher. The Americans are also minus 1,200 favorites to win the women's basketball gold medal, and plus 175 favorites to win the women's soccer gold medal. Spain is the 2 to 1 second choice to win the gold in women's soccer, with host France the 4 to 1 third pick. In lifestyle news, have you ever thought about what it would be like to work as a firefighter? Well, more than 100 people got a chance to find out this weekend. A free community boot camp was held by Las Vegas Fire and Rescue on Sunday, and it was open to anyone over the age of 14 interested in a career in firefighting. The brave participants went through many activities that included deadlifting, running while pulling weights, and trying on firefighting equipment. The goal was to hopefully spark an interest in those looking into a career in firefighting. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Due to increased demand, the rock band Dead & Company has extended its Vegas residency. Dead & Company has added six more shows at the Sphere. Those performances will run on select dates from August 1st through the 10th. Tickets start at $145 and go on sale on Friday. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 tonight. You can watch breaking news live anytime on any of the platforms listed on your screen. And before you go, here's a look at how some of you chose to cool off by taking a dip or a boat ride at Lake Mead over the long weekend. See you tomorrow morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.